Okay, this is just a quick review of the Rover MPPT 30 amp power controller. Uh, this controller is designed to work with many different styles and types of batteries. Uh, the battery that I'm using with this is a LifePo 4 uh, 200 amp hour battery and I have 200 watts of solar charging. Uh, before I got this controller, I was using a PWM controller, and uh, I noticed it was really slow charging. It would take up, up to six hours uh, to recharge the battery from overnight use. So I went to the MPPT Rover controller, and I've already noticed a huge difference. This controller is recharging that same battery in about two hours uh, from overnight use. So that's a huge improvement, you know, more than half uh, the time that it took using the PWM controller. Now this is a 30 amp controller. It's good for up to about 400 watts of solar power. You can use it with either a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, I have used Renogi panels for many years in the past. This is the first time I've used one of their controllers, but I'm very impressed with this controller. Now a few things on this, as you can see, it's already it shows on the digital screen what is going on here. I'll explain that in a minute, but these lights up here also tell you what's going on. Uh, this top light is the solar panel, which shows that the solar panels are producing power. Uh, it, the second light is the battery, which shows it's connected to the battery and the battery is functioning. Below that is a load light. If you have a load connected to these two connectors down here, it would also show that load light is being on. I don't have any loads uh, connected directly to the controller. I connect my loads directly to the battery through an inverter. The uh, light below that is an error light. Uh, in the event something goes wrong somewhere in the system, the error light will come on. It hasn't come on in the time that I've been using this, so I just assume that it works. Now, on the screen, it does show you the uh, uh, details that you need. It, it gives you the battery voltage where it stands right now. You can see mine's at 13.4 volts, so this battery is basically full already, uh, and it was at 12.1 volts this morning, and it already charged up in about two hours, it charged up to 13.4 volts, about two and a half hours, I would say. So that's a huge improvement, you know, almost double the speed that I was getting from the... Uh, PWM controller. Now it does show you on here, it shows the solar panel, and then it has an arrow with the uh, uh, moving digital display that shows that the power, the solar panels are producing power, and you can use these buttons to see exactly how many uh, volts and amps are coming from your solar panels down there. I won't change the settings while I'm doing this. It also shows how the battery is. It shows that the battery is full. An out indicator, if you are using some type of load directly to the connections down here, it would also show how much, uh, it also show how many watts were going out uh, to whatever load you're using. Now, what, a couple of things on this. The instruction manual is not very good. It kept mentioning an enter button. There is no enter button on here. The enter button is the right arrow key over here. Now when you first connect this, according to the instructions, it should read what type of battery that you're using. However, it was reading that I was using a sealed lead acid battery, which I'm not. I'm using a LifePo 4. So in order to change that, just so you know, if it doesn't uh, correctly read the battery you're on, push and hold this right key button, uh, right arrow button, hold that down, and then it will flash the battery types. And using the up and down arrow key, you can select which battery that you're using. Then uh, touch that again and it will go back to and it will hold that uh, setting. You can also set it from 12 volt to 24 volt so if you're using a 12, 24 volt system this uh, rover will work for a 24 volt system. A couple of tips when you hook up your controller uh, these first two is your positive and negative to your solar panels the second two are the positive and negative to your uh, battery. When you connect these always connect the battery first and then give it a couple of minutes to register and read the battery. Change the settings if you need to to whatever type of battery that you're using and what voltage you're using then hook up your solar panels that way you don't uh, confuse the controller which can happen if you hook up the solar panels first and instead of the battery so make sure you hook up the battery first let it sit for a minute do your adjustments and then hook up your solar panels and everything should work fine and you should no see a noticeable improvement on your charging speed if you've been using a PWM controller all right so far I'm very impressed with this unit and can highly recommend it have a great day folks